My name is Gavin Evans, and this is my review of Silent Night. And this is a movie I was actually very excited for, and I was going to see it in theaters, but nobody liked this movie. It just got torn apart, and I was just like, maybe I'll just wait for this one. So I finally watched it, and... Yep, unfortunately, this movie is one giant letdown. Like, it should have been this great, fun action movie, but there's not all that much action to it, and the majority of this movie is just as generic as they come. There is this entire gimmick where nobody in the movie talks, and it's just a very distracting choice, especially because the main character loses his voice but it doesn't really mean anything because no one around him is talking. So it just feels like, like, if you're going to have the main character lose his voice, you can't have everyone else silent because then the fact he lost his voice just means nothing. So it was just a really baffling decision to me. Like, there were moments where I'm like, okay, he would definitely say something now, but then I'm like, oh wait, he can't. I don't know, it, it was, that was just a terrible, like, they totally messed that up completely. And they also rely on text messages way too much, and it just felt very lazy. Like, if you're going to do this gimmick, find more creative ways. And, like I said, the vast majority of this movie is just painfully generic. Like, the first hour of this movie could have been, like, ten minutes of setup, and then just be like one montage. We didn't need to dedicate an entire hour to him getting ready for this fight. And it just, it bums me out when action movies have very little action. Like Sisu, earlier this year, giant piece of shit. It marketed itself as John Wick in World War II, and there was barely any action in that movie. And you've got a bit more action here, but still, like if I want to watch a drama, I'll watch a drama. If I want to watch an action movie, then give me what I want with this genre. Just baffling. And then when the action actually kicks in, the last act, it's pretty awesome, to be honest. There was a scene on a stairway which just was fantastic, and I loved it. And it just made me more frustrated at the rest of this movie. And it's simply not enough to save it. No real close, because for the vast majority of this movie, I was bored. Now, I will say, it's well shot, the lighting is great, and Joel Kinnaman and Kid Cootie give perfectly fine performances, but at the end of the day, it just made one baffling decision after the other, and a few cool moments can't save it, so I'll give Silent Night a 3 out of 10. Okay, have you seen Silent Night? No, not the 2012 movie. No, 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 not the 2021 movie Izo. Silent Night 2023. If so, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon. And Gavin, out.